Not many people are aware of the genuine mechanics behind how my rating system works. I judge a work of art, a book, a novel, based on the criteria of characters, locations, settings, cities, states, themes. Why so much focus on location? Now, statistically, a work of fiction that is set on Mars is bound to be superior to any work of fiction set on the planet Earth. A good character, as we all know, is one who knows how to take action. Uh, the most physically violent and dominant are typically the best characters, period. Jack Bauer on the show 24 is one of the canonically best characters ever written. Every great rating system must rest on the legacy that is the Siskel and Ebert uh, rating system. Four star or thumbs up? Well, I use both. Two star, that means one thumb up, one thumb neutral. Four stars is two thumbs up. Maybe the most important part is do any of the fictional elements any way relate to the song You Can Call Me Al by Paul Simon. Now by this metric, if any film features a man who walks down the street, he says, why am I, why am I soft in the middle? Uh, why am I soft in the middle? The rest of my life is so hard. I need a photo opportunity. I need a shot of redemption. I don't want to end up a car tune in a cartoon graveyard, bone digger, bone digger, dogs in the moonlight, far away from the well-lit door, Mr. Beer Belly, Beer Belly, get this uh, get mutt away from me, you know, I don't find this stuff amusing anymore. Now, if you'll be my bodyguard, I can be your long lost pal. I can call you Betty, but Betty, if you call me, you can call me Al. Again, any characters named Betty or, Betty or Al are immediately suspect. Anyone who is obviously soft in the middle, and I don't mean in a physical way, I mean in a character way, that's gonna pose a serious problem. In summary, we have the thumbs, the four star, uh, you can call me Al rating system. All of these elements combined create a perfect um, algorithm. All the critics use it, Jeremy, Jeremy, jo Jeremy Jones uses it. If you are interested in using this rating system, email me at rating.email.aol.com. Obviously, you're going to have to pay some licensing fees. You're going to get 100% accurate reviews of all works of art if you use this. I want to thank all of my patrons who uh, stick through to the end. Thank you.